continue to follow it. For now, we want to bring in Christopher Voss, who's a former special agent with the FBI. He's a terrorism expert and also managing director of Insight Security. Thank you so much for being here, Christopher. So, I mean, how do they begin? Thank you, how, how do you even start? Well, the hardest part about an investigation like this is managing the massive amount of information that's going to come in early on. And, and what the investigators are doing here is that they're getting offers from a lot of, for help from a lot of agencies and actually setting up a structure to manage this case over the first few days is the hardest part for them so that they can organize the information as it comes in and then keep track of it. And once they get set up, as the information begins to come in, they'll be able to get their arms around this, which is why they're not ruling anything out at this point. But, but I mean, let's take the Saudi uh, connection to begin with. And, you know, we don't know whether this, this man's family had anything to do with this whatsoever. But how are they supposed to start investigating that? Well, and, and this type of a homicide, this is a very up close and personal sort of an in your face, sending a message type of a killing. So uh, it was a form of communication from whoever was doing it. They were trying to make a point. Now, whether or not it's directly related to the Saudi family with an individual this, this, with this kind of stature, there could have been someone sim simply sympathetic in the Muslim community that wanted to send a message. And that's the other thing they have to grapple with, sort of the, uh, the lone wolf message sender, if you will, that did it on their own. Folks were very upset when he was convicted. Some, uh, including al-Turki himself, the man, uh, insisted that the case was politically motivated. Apparently, years earlier, he had he owned a company that sold CDs of sermons recorded by Anwar al Alaki, who, of course, is, uh, has been, was killed in a drone strike later uh, by the United States, but but known to be a terrorist. It, it, it putting this man to the side, the danger that our law enforcement officials are in. I mean, you tell me, Christopher, because it seems like it's ticking up. I mean, last month a Texas prox prosecutor was killed uh, as he walked through a parking lot. In Colorado back in 08, uh, a prosecutor was fatally shot to death in 2001. A prosecutor was fatally shot in Seattle. But these are not, the, I mean, listen, it, it doesn't happen that often, thank goodness, but it happens, and it just seems like it's happening too often. Right, yeah, and, and the unfortunate part of it is it, it, it goes a little bit with the territory. Now, nobody takes these jobs in order to intentionally sacrifice themselves for the job. They, they know that it goes with the territory. And um, it's a long shot risk, but it's, it's one that and inherently the, the individuals accept, um, their families don't. And the hardest part is a uh, family's left without a, without a father, without a head of a household, without a mother even in some cases. And it, it's, it's extremely hard on the families as well. Mm -hmm. They put their lives on the line uh, to try to keep the rest of us safe. Thank you so much for being here with your perspective. Christopher Voss, all the best. Thank you, Megan.